these two women have little in common. Violet is a devoted mother of eight children and lovingly cares for her children and her late husband. Meanwhile, sharp-tongued Agatha Danbury, who lives alone and seems grateful that her children have left the country, seems to take a special interest in dating her. Despite this, the two women get along well and often support each other in getting married with children and family friends. But Queen Charlotte said Bridgerton's story reveals a deeper side to their friendship. The series picks up her life decades before the main series, notably as a growing Agatha, but also as a young Violet. The show alternates between women in the months after season two of Bridgerton and women in their youth, detailing the stories they discuss. Agatha helps Violet deal with personal issues and their friendship grows, but Queen Charlotte puts their relationship in a precarious state, telling viewers that this friendship is going through difficult times. It makes me wonder if they will visit. Lady Danbury's affair and Queen Charlotte, the problem is in the past and secrecy certainly doesn't help. The spin-off series follows a young Agatha Danbury trapped in a loveless marriage to a much older man. In her performance it is made clear that she has no connection to her and her husband and that Agatha never experienced her love. At the age of three, she got engaged to Danbury, Cyril Newry, but had no other choice. Agatha and her husband are awarded titles in The Great Experiment, and Agatha joins the court of the Queen, India Amalthifio. She also made a deal with the king's mother, Princess Augusta, to explain to Charlotte in exchange for her assistance. Agatha and Danbury thus become the de facto leaders of the family produced by the great experiment. They are given an estate adjacent to Violet's parents. Her husband dies suddenly and Agatha begins wandering lonely in her countryside, but she wanders into Leisure's property. There, she meets Lord Ledger, who has similar tendencies. Despite the tension in the tin from the great experiment, Ledger showed the Danbury's kindness. And when they meet again, he is understanding towards Agatha. Ledger's marriage isn't blissful, and his long walks are partially to avoid his wife. Agatha starts meeting him, and they go on walks together, and on one such walk, she confides in him about her birthday, which she fears would pass uncelebrated without a husband. In response, Ledger makes a birthday crown for her, as he does for his daughter. This catapults them into an affair. But soon, Ledger pulls back, ending the affair before Agatha is ready. They still see each other often, but Ledger takes Violet along to prevent another lapse in judgment. Though brief, her relationship with Ledger taught Agatha much about love. However, it remains a surprisingly well-kept secret even decades later. How does Violet learn the truth in Queen Charlotte? Although they experience difficulties, the two friends are in a good place when the series begins. As Violet laments the anniversary of her husband's passing, they cross paths. Until she learns more about Lady Danbury's marriage and understands that she was fortunate to have a great love, even if she did lose it, Violet finds Lady Danbury's characterization of her as lucky to be infuriating. Violet gets to know Lady Danbury better as a result of her newfound understanding of her companion. Violet acknowledges to Lady Danbury that she hasn't given attention to love in the years after her husband's passing, but things are starting to change. Violet talks about her garden in bloom as she muses over whether to get married once more or take up with someone. She asks for advice as Lady Danbury has been a widow longer and Lady Danbury alludes to her own romantic endeavors since her husband's death. The conversation makes Danbury nostalgic, remembering her first real love, Lord Ledger. She pulls out the old birthday crown to reminisce, but things do not remain so simple. During one visit, Violet notices a birthday crown that Mrs. Danbury had inadvertently hidden. But her questions about Mrs. Danbury's past love affairs lead nowhere. She names another man to ease her doubts, but Violet doesn't give up easily. She pulls out all her father's birthday crowns and the crowns she made for her husband and children to confront Mrs. Danbury and invites the other women. Her lifetime birthday crowns fill the space, each unique but similar to Mrs. Danbury's crown. Mrs. Danbury doesn't say a word, but by gauging her reaction, Violet derives an answer she already knew. The revelation puts the two former friends in an awkward position. This revelation comes at the end of Queen Charlotte, so it's unclear how everyone will feel about the truth coming out. 
And since Agatha's relationship with Violet's father is no longer a secret, could their friendship remain the same? How will the events in Queen Charlotte impact their relationship in Bridgerton? With the mystery revealed, your friends may be closer than ever. Or they may move away. It's unclear which direction they'll take, as this reveal is their final scene. The spin-off expands on the friendship between Mrs. Danbury and Violet, guiding Mrs. Danbury through the process of widowing her young friend. But when it's finally revealed what happened so many years ago, the question arises as to how to proceed. Violet's parents weren't loving, but she may not have realized this when she was young, so she may have some kind of grudge against her father's mistress Agatha. For now, fans can only speculate if Violet can forgive her friend for cheating, lying, or both. By the time Bridgerton's third season kicks off, the two may be on good terms or may not be the friends they once were.